famous. You're not him. In the Europa League, Europa, Europa, Europa League. We tell them one time and we say Europa League. Europa. Man United won, Real Betis nil. As games go, you lot know where it was. That was a hard watch. The watch was hard. But we, you know what we've got to say to ourselves? Look, Man United, we, we won that game. And we haven't been good in Spain. We've gone to Spain many times. And not say we've embarrassed ourselves, but we haven't done, got the results that we needed. We say we struggle with Spanish sides. Well, Man United against Barcelona did what they need to do. Man United against Real Betis do what they need to do. So we can say, you know what, that hoodoo that's been on us as a team, well, we can say that's over. Now, but we started, started the game, you looked at things and you saw Harry Maguire's in with Martinez in that partnership and you thought, oh man, this could be nervous. This could be, this could be a bit nervy, right? But then you've got some sure, the sure players in there in terms of your players like Juan Bissaka, Casemiro, Bruno, right? So you're looking at things with a fresh start for a young guy in Facundo thinking, what kind of game are we going to play today? And in the beginning, first 10 minutes, Man United started well. Man United was trying to show boss why they should be in this position. Man United showing, you know, the level of quality. But the game just kind of seeps into the doldrums and bad touches, slow passing, and it kind of gives Robert Tiss a bit more impetus to keep trying, keep keep showing, because I think Man United let them know there could be something in the game for them. Yes, there was too many goals to score. Absolutely, too many goals to get back into it, but it gave them hope. And I think that's where the game really... Um, Betis a few chances. David De Gea, some key... I'll say two real key saves in this game. But then after, the quality just... It just dips. The game goes into like a, I don't want to call it a turgid affair, but not a game where you can really look for things and say, oh man, this was the quality in this half. It was so bad at times where we just started talking about games, you know? And um, luckily, like the half ended and he thought, you know what? Ten Hag's going to get into these lot because there's so many players that I'm waiting to see a lot more from. There's so many players that I'm like, you know what? I know you got more to your game, but is as I said, as the first half was incredibly disjointed, a team that looked like, not like they didn't play together, but they didn't know each other, you know, like a lot of relationships where he said, who was good today? In the first half, the player that I can say really came out of his own and was someone that was quite special was mm, Facundo. Facundo showed me why I want to see him week in, week out, at least for a while. I want to know, because there's more to his game. He took rid, rid some harsh tackles in that match and even what, got a yellow card early. I think, you know, he was desperate to shine, desperate to prove himself, desperate to prove to um, Ten Hag that maybe he does have a future at this club. And I think, you know what, as players go, there's still something to look at. There's still something to be excited by. And the right-hand side, you know, he also has asked, who is the right answer to the right-hand side? I, I like to say Anthony, but he hasn't made that shirt his own yet. The, it's, it's still up for grabs. Not saying that, I just say the door's ajar. That's the best way to describe the situation um, with Man United on the right-hand side. But, you know, I don't want to be all doom and gloom because we came out in the second half and I thought, you know what, once Ten Hag talks to these boys, the boys are going to start acting like the men we know. Um, the boys came out. There were still boys. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, there wasn't really that much of an upgrade. It was still, uh, you're watching it like, you're just making faces, wondering, Man United, come on, man. If this is the poor performance, well, it can be now. As long as you're not leaking in goals, we'll accept it. Man United make some changes and we bring on Sabitza. And I think bringing on Sabitza and Sancho was it was a good key moment for me. Sorry, I had to, I can't, wait. who would I if I don't talk about the Rashford goal? Rashford takes many shots. He was trying his best. It's kind of like we saw little shades of the old Rashford. But what was special about Rashford's performance is he said to himself, you know what, I haven't scored in a long time. I haven't scored in two games. And for Rashford, that's now a drought. And he said, I'm going to do something about it. And I loved it. I loved the fact that Rashford is this hungry. Yes, the ball goes over like Johnny Wilkinson. But the, the next one, it was it was a goal when he was just frustrated. He was mad. Kind of, it's different to the... Um, I remember Rooney scoring against Newcastle when he's just in a mad argument and he just hits it. Well, Rashid is not the same type of finish, but I could see the same kind of anger was left in him. Like, how did I miss that? I've been waiting for my opportunity. And what? It's a, it's a good goal. 
it is a good goal. You know, it it is it is hit with venom and he gets his he gets his reward. Keep on trying, gets your reward. And that's what you want to see from a player of Rashford's quality. He's saying, you know what, I'm not gonna go that many games without doing what I need to do. And I'm again as a Man United fan, this makes me incredibly excited. You know, I've got a player that is now demanding high standards himself in every single game. And he's not going to go that many. He ain't trying to go four or five games without scoring a goal. I just want to talk about Wild Wakehorse's performance because I just feel kind of sorry for him. As a player, you think, you know what? You deserve so much more and it's not happened yet. It's not happening. I'm just watching the, um, I'm watching Arsenal game. <laughs> Arsenal scored 1-0 up and I'm hoping for them to get knocked out. But again, they get their key goal, man. And you know, like there will be a there will be a problem. You talk about um, when in the next the next phase, or you talk about the the draw that's coming up, and you want some of these hard teams gone, but they're here in it, and we gotta just say whoever comes out of the pot, we gotta be ready to play them. But anyway, on um, on White Wake Horse's performance, you just wish him, for him to get some luck. The ball falls to him kind of kindly in the box, and he just doesn't do what he. You know that poacher. He hasn't been that poacher for me, and it's 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 nervy settings because I do want Wild to find his goal scoring form, his killer instinct, and at the moment it just hasn't happened yet. I'm still hoping, still believing. I remember him getting a goal the other day, and he's like really emotional, really feels good about himself. And I'm thinking, you know what? We need you to kick on now because Wild, wow, we need Wild's goals in this game. Like going forward, luckily there's an international break. It gives Matt Marshall a bit of time to come back into things. But can we even trust in Marshall to come back into things? So I don't even... Maybe that's just me moving mad and hoping for too much in this moment. But you know what? I have to talk about some positives. I have to talk about Sabitzer. Happy to see him again. Him being fit is key. It's crucial for a team like Man United, especially with um, especially with a player like Casemiro out for as long as he's out. You know, Casemiro, they just said, you know, try and enjoy as much of this game because, bro, he ain't playing for four. And it's good to see a player like Sabitzer back. It's a shame that he has to play so high at the pitch because we still haven't got to see that casemiro Sabitzer relationship. But then who I'll be rude to just take Fred out because Fred was quite decent today. Yes, he lost the ball, but the energy was still good. Fred doing like little skills here and there. Fred was important. Fred was important. That's that's one thing I can say. Fred showed me, you know what? I, this is why I love this is this is why I love you now this season, Fred. You know, there's your like that energy is going to get us through. He's going to get us into other rounds of more competitions. We got um, Fulham in a little while. Fred will be important. You know, just, just to say, like, if I was to pick my man of the match, I'm going to have to go with um, Facundo, definitely. Facundo showed what, like, he has got a future in his team. I don't think he should go on loan, though. I think he, sh he should get those Ganacho minutes now. Since Ganacho's injured, let's see what Facundo can do. Can play on the left, can play on the right. I say bring him in. Incredibly direct. We just got to give him a chance. We've got to blood this kid because... While, we ain't, while we're waiting for other players to come back and help us, this is going to work. Listen, Man United need a good draw, man. I want to go all the way in this competition. And you can see that the team's got enough to go all the way in this competition. When you can rest players like Varane, say, Varane, you know, take a little time off. We'll use you on the weekend. That's what I want to see. This is the Man United that we've come to know and love. And to be watching a game today where it's important and we did what we need to do, you've got to say the only way is up. But listen... I'm KG, you lot know what time it is. Man United won, Robert is nil. We move. Peace.